welcome to my studio. Today we're going to make pumpkins out of imploded gourds. If you've ever had imploded gourds and didn't know quite what to do with them, we're going to show you how to turn them into a wonderful fall decoration. The first thing we're going to do is base coat our pumpkin or our imploded gourd hair. And orange and pumpkin can be a very hard color to base coat, so it's better to kind of start with a base color. And if you wanted to leave these darker lines that color so that they looked like, um, so you could see the depth of the gourd. I like to do that a lot too, and we might do that on this one. You kind of want to base coat a red first. My first choice of color is uh, Tomato Spice by Delta. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough of this color to do the whole gourd, so we'll see how far it goes. Another one that would be real similar to, well, actually this is, yes, the um, Cardinal Red is a little bit closer to that. Now this is folk art, but this is a multi-surface, so it's thicker. Martha Stewart has some really nice colors out that are thicker and have a nice coat to them too. So a thicker, kind of a tomato-y spice kind of color is what I like to put under these and then it just really helps you having to do for so many coats of the orange or the pumpkin. I'm going to go ahead and leave my stem natural. If you wanted to do it brown, you could do it brown or whatever you wanted to do as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all base coated and let it dry really, really well. You can use the dry tray. We have those at miriamjoy.com to dry it, and then we're gonna start our orange pumpkin colors. Okay, now that our red is dry, we're gonna go ahead and start applying our orange. And I'm gonna use my sponge brush. And the reason we're using our sponge brush is so that those little crevices on this one are going to stay uncovered and they'll show through. Now if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You can just start painting your orange right on and get all in those little crevices. And we're going to paint one really good coat on this all the way around and then on top we're going to put it on our dry board to dry. Let's go ahead. Now this little guy, he's got too many crevices. He would really be hard to kind of do that because you'd have them all red. So I just painted him one solid color as I did the rest of them. But we're going to put as many coats on them as you want. You can do them orange, you could do them pumpkin, you could do them yellow, you could do them green. Whatever colors you would like. You could have a multiple uh, different colors. But while those are drying, I'm going to pick up some of my favorite leaves and I'm going to use my extreme gold glitter on them and I picked that up at Walmart and they should have that at the craft section as well it's by folk art and we're just going to cover our leaves with gold like we're going to do later to our pumpkin or our gourd whatever you want to call it and we're going to do that and with however many leaves, if you decide you want two or three or four on there, however many you decide to put on there, we're just going to add that extra celebration to these leaves and we'll have them drying. And then once my pumpkin orange is dry, I'm going to put as many coats, hopefully one or two more coats on it till it's completely one solid color and then we'll start decorating it. couple layers on now and I'm still showing a little bit more than I want to so there's another thing that we can do to cover up a color and that is to sponge a little bit darker color over the top of it so I'm going to sponge tangerine over it I'm using a sea sponge 
and I have taken my sea sponge and I have dampened it. And by dampening it, you should be able to wring it out 100%. No water should be coming out. And I am just going to go over the entire gourd. And you don't want to do the cracks. If you can still leave the red in them so those show up a little bit more, that's fine. If you're covering them up, don't worry about it. If you get your stem, go ahead and paint him brown. Unfortunately, my stem touches up against the gourd, so I'm probably going to have to come back and paint him brown instead of leaving him natural or find a way to remove that color off. And then that should pretty well do it. And after this, we're going to do a layer of um, gold glitter on top of this once this is completely dry but this even if you have some of those layers through that's okay it's kind of got the layered look and just do this however you want to there's no right or wrong you may have a way that you prefer more so so I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll put our glitter on once you've got your paint really dry and as many coats as you want on it and like that color, we're going to go ahead and put a glitter coat on it. I'm going to use Extreme Glitter by Folk Art. You can pick that up at Walmart. And I'm going to use an old brush because you don't want your glitter getting up in the ferrule of your brushes. And we're just going to brush that all over our pumpkin. You only need one coat because it's going to be a lot of glitter. And then once we get that all on, take a look at your stem. If you need to paint it brown or a natural color, then paint it. If not, take that out and varnish it. You can use a gloss. You could use a satin. I would not use a flat because of our glitter that's kind of a shiny bright thing so I would probably on mine I think I used a gloss I just used a Krylon or Rust-Oleum from Walmart a spray on do two or three coats and then once those coats are nice and dry we're going to assemble it all together now that our gourd is all dry and varnished we're going to do is we're going to take some raffia and we're going to tie it on to our stem. And your raffia bow is going to be, depend on how big your gourd is or isn't. And if you have a big gourd, you may want more raffia. If you have a little one, you may want less raffia. So that's going to kind of be up to you and the size of your pumpkin. And we're going to trim this guy a little bit, get all of his so he's not too long. Don't cut him nice and even, cut him different lengths so they look natural. And you may want to glue that part down. We'll leave that up to you. And then we're going to go ahead and add our leaves that we already colored with the glitter. You're going to kind of tuck them in. Kind of see where you want to go first. You could do two or three on this one kind of depending. We've got the stem over here and he kind of takes up room and I kind of want to leave him showing. So, we're just going to kind of do it like that. And then I'm going to take some of the berry garland, I guess it would be the name. Sometimes it just comes in picks, sometimes it comes in, in rolls. And we're just going to wrap it around a pencil. And we're going to glue that right on to our... our pumpkin there however you think that needs to go it just gives it that extra little festive feel because you could use this all fall long you could use it for the 
Halloween or you could use it for Thanksgiving. Just a fall nice decoration. And this was made from a gourd that you might have otherwise thrown away. Now you could use them by yourself or like the three I have. They're kind of staggered, but also you could use a wreath and I put something underneath it to give it the height it needs. Maybe just a little bit too tall, but putting it inside a wreath to kind of change that as well may also kind of give you a nice table decoration or centerpiece with the wreath. So think about things like that as well, but there's a lot of fun things that you could do with that. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a great time. I hope you learned something different to do with your imploded gourds instead of just tossing them. And just come on over to Miriam Joy's Waxy Crafty Corner where we're putting our craft videos up for you on Facebook so you can see the new ones when they're coming out. Make sure to visit MiriamJoy.com where we have our store for all your craft supply needs. Thank you. Have a safe Halloween. God bless. Thank you.